Haters talking, but I don't even hear them. <laughs> yeah, man. What's up guys, Toby here or Toby Jizzle and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 13 Virtual Pro Career Mode Series Prolific. And the first bit of news we've got for you guys today is that Chelsea have sealed the Barclays Premier League title. Um, four games left to go for them and it's now mathematically impossible for anyone else to overtake them in the league. So unless there's some sort of scandal which they haven't included in FIFA 13, um, the title is basically Chelsea's, so that's confirmed. But we go on into a game against Liverpool. Now, as you guys know, Liverpool are a side that Lethal Jizzle loves to play against. Um, I think he always scores against them and always seems to get some sort of result. Um, so, going to be looking to take three points, especially with the home advantage in this game. And um, as you can see, Liverpool a few places below us in the league table um, in eighth. We are up in fourth, currently looking quite comfortable. We're going to be looking to extend that gap over Liverpool's Merseyside rival rivals, Everton, who we also seem to perform really well against. So, uh, maybe it's a Merseyside thing. Maybe Merseyside clubs are shit. No, I'm joking. But, um... Yeah, we start off really brightly, creating chances in the early moments. I think we have Liverpool under pressure for the first five minutes of the game. Um, I think we forced like them to lose possession like initially and then we just keep the ball in there like within like 30 yards of their goal and just continue to pass the ball and move it really nicely and eventually that pays off after like several chances Jizzle going past Skirtle there who brings him down and he wins the penalty and how about this for a lovely take from Tarat a little bit of editing for you guys here um, took a while to like I just have to pause the game and just get the replays um, for that stuff but I, I kind of like adding it in I think it looks quite cool but um yeah, 1-0 lead early on, and we continue to put Liverpool under pressure, and how about this for a lovely goal? Jizzle loves that skill, the Berber spin past the defender, and finesses past the goalkeeper to make it 2-0 in 13 minutes of the game, and their little Bellatelli celebration, no shirt off because we don't want a yellow card, and it's just not possible to do that on FIFA 13 anyway, but um, yeah, a cheeky finish from Jizzle, lovely little bit of skill. And here's a little slow replay of the Balotelli celebration, just hulking up there. But um, Liverpool come straight back at us. And within two minutes of us getting that second goal, they get a chance of their own. Suarez playing a lovely ball over the top. And Cesar is unable to save that effort from Lucas. And so Liverpool pull goal back and it's 2-1 within 15 minutes of the game. And if you think the action stops there, you are definitely wrong. As just 10 minutes later, Liverpool get a spell of possession again. And Stuart Downing beats the defender and gets the shot from the edge of the box and I really think Julio Cesar should have done better there but um, Liverpool managed to score that chance and make it 2 all. but we're not having that, we're not even, we're, we're quite angry that Downing scored against us, we need to get revenge and how about that for a lovely ball through, Chisel controls beaut beautifully and like Henri style, you know Henri used to bring the ball down really nicely but it's a fantastic bit of control there, just brings it down and then volleys past the goalkeeper to make it 3-2 and it's only the first half we've seen five goals already, um, so really excited for the second half I guess, but um, usually when like you get lots of goals in the first half you don't really get much in the second half, so I'm kind of expecting that, but we're going at half time with the score at 3-2, like I said, goals from Jizzle, Tarat, Downing and Lucas. Moving on to the second half, Liverpool do start off really brightly, Suarez getting a chance early on, but his shot going just wide of the target, but there you see once more Julio Cesar diving really late and it was really kind of slow reactions and I'm a little bit worried about that because we have important games coming up against Arsenal and Manchester United next. Um, in the other order though, we got Manchester United first in the league, then Arsenal in the FA Cup final. So um, I'm really hoping that Julio Cesar is on form or at least we switch him out. But as you can see, we created several more chances throughout the course of the game. There Jizzle just having his shots saved. And in the 84th minute of the game, Hoyle doing well on the wing, playing the ball back to Jizzle, who works it nicely into the box through Gennaro. A lovely little one-two with him and Farlin, but Jose Reyna makes a save. And so that score finishes at 3-2. Like I said, when you tend to get lots of goals in the first half, the second half always, for some reason, seems to be so much more quiet. And I don't know, I don't know if that's a case of um, people resting on their laurels or just relaxing. But um, yeah, 9.7 range, so really happy with that individual performance. Now, the game against Manchester United, for that game, we are rested. Um, I'm guessing that's due to the huge importance of our next fixture against Arsenal. I would think a game against Manchester United was quite important as well um, because they are, uh, I think, just above us in the league or something. Um, they really had a, a late run of form um, after being down so low in the table for so long. But um, in typical Manchester United fashion, they did manage to pull off a comeback. And in this game, they managed to pull off a comeback as well, going behind twice, I think. But um, 
a late penalty from Robin Van Persie managed to spare their blushes there. And we get our targets updates, um, achieving all three targets over the last four games. And I think we've got two league games left against Spurs and Chelsea. So we're going to be looking to achieve those targets set by the manager as well. But we move on to the massive FA Cup final against Arsenal. And like several of our cup ties over the course of the season, it is once more against London opposition. So it adds all the more incentive to perform in this game. Um, playing at Wembley for the... Well, I say second to the third time this season, including the FA Cup semi-final. And we start off uh, the brighter of the two sides, I think, working the ball really nicely. And uh, Chisel flicking the ball up, holding it up nicely there. Playing the ball through to Park, but his shot was fantastically saved by uh, Wojciech Szczesny, or however you pronounce it. Once more, fantastic ball over the top. I think that was Hoylett who played it through. But Chisel's uh, volley is saved by Szczesny once more. And Szczesny has a really fantastic game uh, today making several saves to deny us. Julio Cesar putting off a fantastic save there, similar to the style in which Chesney saved both the previous efforts. But Jacquete really should score here, uh, takes his time, and the defenders put him under enough pressure for um, him to fluff the shot and allow Chesney to make the save. And from the corner, we get a chance as well. I think it's Ferdinand who gets his head on it, but Wilshere is there to clear off the line. And I think in this uh, season, Wilshere is Arsenal's captain, so... Really, he stepped up quite a bit in this league. And a beautiful chance here. Scissor volley from Lethal Jizzle. Unable to take it. So we're going at half-time with the score at 0-0. And I'm just going to show you the stats to show you how many chances um, we squandered in this game. As you can see there, 7 shots, 2 on target compared to Arsenal's 3 and 1 on target. So we are really dominating the game in terms of chances created. However, Arsenal are having um, more of the possession. And in the second half, they start off really brightly, forcing a double save off Julio Cesar there. But eventually, the ball is worked into the box to Pedro, and he makes no mistake from six yards out to give Arsenal the lead in the 50th minute of the game. So really disappointed to be going behind, especially as it's against the run of play. And we have controlled... Um, the attacking football in a sense but we really should have equalized their Granero firing wide in the 60th minute however in the 79th minute of the game we get a break Granero slotting through lethal jizzle and he accelerates away from the Arsenal defenders takes it around the goalkeeper and gets the shot off to make it one all in this game and it's such an important goal and such a crucial goal and you can see how much it means to him the lovely uh high jump celebration I guess that is I don't know I love that celebration if you don't know how to do it it's RB and up on the right stick but if you think the excitement ends there you're definitely wrong somehow Sanya manages to get a shot off from the edge of the box and make it 2-1 in the 88th minute of the game once more an example of Julio Cesar slow diving but in the 89th minute we have a chance to equalize almost immediately Jacketate in the box wasting that chance and so this game finishes 2-1 to Arsenal and really disappointed to miss out on another trophy in the season in that fashion especially as we created so many chances but were unable to take them and uh, credit to Chesney for having a fantastic game and goal but uh, I think we get like a 7.2 rating or something in this game you guys will see that in a second but I hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have feel free to leave a like if you didn't hit the dislike button but if you've enjoyed the video and you think you'd enjoy the rest of the content on my channel feel free to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in a bizzle peace